Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Pastor Kevin and friend. And this is your friend. Say hello, holy cow. Hello, holy cow. <laughs> well, welcome. I'm glad you could join us today. It's it's Thanksgiving week, and I'm so excited about Thanksgiving because we get to see family and friends. And I eat food. <laughs> yes, and we eat food. But holy cow, that's not what we're here about. Oh, he's not. I want to get some food. Well, we'll get some food a little bit later. But uh, I want to talk to these boys and girls about something fun to do. Oh, what, what? Well, holy cow, do you like to color? Oh, yeah, I love to color pictures. And then hang them on the refrigerator. Oh, yes, I like to have color pictures, too. And uh, But I brought some certain ones. Do you know what color this is? Oh, that looks like gold. It is. And gold reminds me of how beautiful heaven's going to be. And I can't wait to be there someday because uh, there's going to be streets of gold. And it, so this color here reminds me that heaven is beautiful. Oh, I want to go there too. Well, I th hope everybody wants to go to heaven. But there's something that keeps us out of heaven. Oh, what's that, Easter, Kevin? Well, I brought this one. What color is this? Blue. That's right, because we all blew it. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God, is what God's word says in the Bible. Oh, it's a broken one. Yes, it is a broken crayon, and we have broken God's laws, God's commands, so we have sinned, and we have done what God does not approve of. Anything we say or do or think that goes against what God's word says is a sin. So we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Oh, I ain't any good. No, it's still a good crayon because broken crayons still color. When people make fun of us or say bad things about us, or even when we make mistakes, God isn't done with us. Oh, what are you lying? Well, the Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, it says, um, He has made, that's God, has made everything beautiful in its time. He also has set eternity in the hearts of men, yet he, they cannot fathom what God has done from the beginning to the end. Oh, that is good news. Well, we all believe it. What are we going to do now? Oh, it's not what we do. It's what Jesus did. So I brought this red crayon, right? Red. It reminds me of the blood that Jesus shed on the cross. When Jesus died on the cross for your sins and my sins and your sins, he shed his blood so that our sins could be forgiven. And if we will ask, Jesus is faithful and he will forgive us of all our sins. All of them. Yes, all of them. The Bible tells us that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us of how many? All. All of our unrighteousness. Which is good news because it takes our sins where we blew it and he's able to wash our sins white as snow. What? Yes, white as snow. He remembers our sins no more. When we ask Jesus to forgive our sins, when we confess that we've done wrong and we confess what we've done, he is faithful, he's just, and he will forgive us of all the things we've done. Oh, that good news. Then what? You got a green one there too. Yes, I have a green crayon because green reminds me that we need to grow. We need to grow in our relationship with Jesus. And we grow by doing what his word says, by reading God's word, by going to church, and by listening to what God has for us. What oh, is good. And even when we blow it, or even when people make fun of us, God still can use broken crayons. Just like this crayon still works, it's just broken. And we can work even when we've messed up. Oh, I like that. That is good news. Well, and the Bible also tells us in the book of Romans that all things work to the good of those who love God and are called according to his purposes. Oh, I like that too. Oh, hey, we got to get going and get some turkey and dressing and all that other goodies. That's right. And so you all... Uh, have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next time here on Pastor Kevin and Friends. You going to say goodbye, holy cow? Goodbye, holy cow. Y'all take care and uh, eat some pie. That was different. Bye-bye.